Hello guys, so in this tutorial now we will try to find the shortest path in that image that we've seen previously. So it's this image and we will just use the depth first algorithm. So we will not go into finding the path itself but just the correct value which in this case when you look at it it's 3 plus 1, 4, 6, 9, 14. So that's the goal here. And one small fix uh, from the last video. So last video we were just always returning the node. But um, what we needed to do is check if that node is already there in the set. If it is then return it from the set. So in this way the that equality, that wrong equality uh, where was it? Some, some, somewhere like here. Let's put it here before the test even. Actually, at the start of the test. Let's say start node equals end node. So after this change, when you insert like B and B and let's say B, B, zero, it says true which is fine so yeah that was my bad here forgot to add that okay so now in this video we wanna find that shortest path um, so yeah hmm. so how do we find the so shortest path it's pretty simple actually so let's say these are connected this one has the value 1, 1, this guy has the value of 5, and this guy has the value of 2. So if we start from here, shortest path to here is this one, and shortest distance to it is 1, then, right? But uh, then the shortest distance to this guy is this one plus this one, it is 2. And the shortest path to this guy, currently, is 1 plus 5 it's 6 right but then if we take this guy plus this 2 it's 4 4 is lower than 6 therefore 4 is now the shortest path to this point and if we do this recursively over the whole graph we will get the shortest path from point A to point B let's say this is point A and this is point B. Okay, so let's try and do this. Well, I already made a class with a method. The first search does the name of the algorithm. It's also known as brute force. So what do we want to do with this node that we have? So basically we want to go over its edges, right? Um, node that edges and what do we do with each edge we check that node 2 from the edge because this is the next node so now one change we have to do before doing anything else we need to add some properties to the node to the node it's to the node itself one of them is boolean visited why why do we need this pool uh, we need it to see if we have already visited some node so if the, if the node is not visited we don't need to have any calculation done there and it's hard to have some number there to compare it with without messing things up so it's just easier to have a boolean property for visited and an integer distance to me. Uh, so the word speaks to itself, so this will be our distance, our shortest distance to ourselves from the A, from, from the start to ourselves. Okay? Now, um, let's do this by saying this is the no 2, and let's say distance to me is equal node 2 
node actually the first node dot distance to me plus this edge between them and the distance of the edge okay so current distance to me plus the edge that's going to be what's forming the next ones this distance to me okay so there are two cases first one if the node 2 has not been visited yet well we'll just do node 2 visited is then true okay and node 2 distance to me will now become distance to me this variable we already defined and to make it short we can also add the, uh, the other condition as well here in the same uh, if statement so what's the other case the other case is when um, so when no to that distance to me is greater than distance to me right so if we got there short by a shorter path then we want to fix this value and to end it all we just recurse that df search df search on the node 2 ok and I think this is it I think this should work already so let's say algo algorithm algorithm equals new dfs and um, let's say algorithm dot df search on the start node and in the end let's check out the result result is let's say what is the result or shortest part is well the end node dot distance to me simple as this let's see let's see if it, if it works first try shortest part is 14 that is correct okay so here we have a have that additional false statement here if you remember we checked if these two are equal and now they aren't so we'll just delete that let's rerun the program oh yeah I, I extended the list because I was missing some uh, some of the edges here okay okay now let's continue try again see if it works again okay so yeah our input is converted to objects and the shortest part is 14 we can make this like objects in memory dev search like that I will save this and I will share this code with you guys on the probably on my box okay there is like one warning here no two may be null here so what do they suggest hmm it's parameter for no two what no no <laughs> never mind anyways Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.